ICBF and Chagas recommend that teams of bulls are used when breeding dairy cows. This is the advice regardless of whether the bulls are genomic or daughter proven. Invariably bulls are only proven for milk traits and not for female fertility traits for some time which remains a key issue for dairy farmers. So if you want to improve your fertility and other traits related to fitness then you need to use teams of bulls. Nationally, farmers tend to use a sufficiently large team of bulls. However, the common mistake made by many is that individual bulls within a team can be overused. So typically what we're seeing is 34% of calves and dairy herds are sired by one bull. This is too high. Uneven usage of bulls results in overusage of certain bulls. And the risk with that is if a bull were to subsequently fall in their EBI, then the genetic merit of their progeny are also going to be impacted as a consequence. So the key message here is when planning what bulls to use this breeding season, also plan how to use each bull equally across your herd. The size of the bull team varies with the size of the herd. So for herds of 100 cows and heifers or less, a minimum of seven bulls are recommended. More bulls are required for larger herds. For example, herds between 150 and 200 cows and heifers, a minimum of 10 bulls are recommended. My name is David Hannan. Uh, I farm here with my wife Catherine and daughter Laura. We run a 320 cow spring calving herd uh, and 80 replacement units in Derry Patrick, Drumree, County Mead. For the current breeding season, we intend to pick a team of bulls using the sire advice. We will use at least kind of 14, 15 bulls uh, for this coming season and when we're finished we will kind of print that out to have it there beside the AI flask for use during the season. Last year we used a team of 14 bulls. Of the 14 bulls, no bull had more than 10% of the calf crop. We use a large team of bulls to improve the reliability of the calves coming on the ground. We want to make sure that we we don't have a bull that has a huge number of calves that turns out to be a bad bull and this way we're going to end up with fewer of each bull but it's more reliable.